Welcome back to Cabido Games and it's time for a siege battle against La Familia. We got Wick Wick. And of course, we're coming from the boss hotel. Now, let's go straight to the action. We are hitting base yellow 11 from La Familia and it's going off cooldown. It's a mix of these light and dark bases. Yeah, let's go hit it. Let's go hit this Tien Lang, Chandra and Jean. We're gonna use our Bulwark, Emilia, and Skogul. Yep, pretty much a very safe cop against this defense. We are bringing a second turn. Yep, everything is reliant on the strips and stuns coming from the Tien Lang. Although the pandas have been nerfed and yeah the beast monks are getting a buff and yep that's going to be very exciting you know especially this chandra here is going to be increasing attack bars after that trick of water yeah so exciting to see this combo uh, when the patch hits in or comes in but nonetheless the only heals coming from this defense is this john right but they do have that hug or that escort from this Chandra, so yeah. Oi, but can they resist that last stone? I'm gonna hit onto Chandra. Okay, Forbidden Galder should be ready now. Increase our defense. Well, of course, the Soul of Protection, but that's fine. I mean, it's. Oh, nice freeze coming from the Emilia. Okay, now that we have Jean frozen, let's go heal up our team here. And with the numerous hits that they did on the Skogul, I'm thinking, calculating that we should have... Nope. Atlas Stone in the next two turns. Yeah. And they're losing health already. Should be Gucci. Oh, while we're waiting for our next Atlas Stone, we got somebody here who wants to greet ya. What's up, G G G G G G G G G G unit? <laughs> G unit, what's up, guys? And we hope you're doing good. I hope you had a good weekend. And now here comes the last Atlas Stone. Even if this Chandra hugs and escorts. Oopsie. Solo. Yep. Of course, he gets to stun. <laughs> Stun the uh, Skogul. Okay, now you're gonna go hit onto Skogul, right? No. Alright. There you go. That is an OP defense from Edison. Next up, we got here Chung with a Fran. That's a Libli together with a Delphoi. And, yep, it's another Tamil Tower being attacked by Geng Lai with the Balagir, Bastet, and that solution. Yeah, that's a really nice combo. You know, I got heals from Artamiel, you got a defense buff coming from the Stranis, and then you got that Tessarian with the Oblivion and defense break. OP! Next up, we got here Yellow 9, and it's a mix of these LND defenses again. Here's Gang Lai with the Molong, Ikares, and a John. Well, we're going to attack onto Cheesy Pied over here. It's a G3 player with that Sierra, Gianna, and Masha. Let's cleave it with Zyros. <music> to be honest, I wanted that Gianna to move first, mainly because then it might be a bit tricky for her to cut in between our Zyros. Okay. Yeah, that's what I mean. Um, but... Oh, okay, good thing she missed the critical error. Um, yeah, I mean, the Zyros is over 120 plus speed. So that's gonna be a 220, 230, but... That mainly means that the Gianna's... Oh no, the speed is really close to the Tiana. Um, it's just that Tiana is really faster, you know, technically 
Um, yeah, that was a close one. <laughs> nice Gianna defense from OP Chasey Pied. Yeah, I mean, Guardian 3, bro. Chase Pied, sorry. Chase Pied, it's not Chasey Pied. I hope I read that right. Well, salute to you. Now he's Wyrick. Being attacked by Gang Lai with the like uh, soon to be buff Ritesh and Milenis. Alright. Yeah, that's a really nice LD defense. Sierra, Masha, and LD mix. Next base, let's see what we got here. We got Yellow 6. It's a mix of these Galleon Clara defenses. We're gonna hit Galleon, Chung Pong, and Clara. We're gonna bring our win team in the form of Eladriel, Diana, and our Luis. Or in a second thought, let's bring in our firepower team with the Villagewell, Perna, and Tessarian. Yep. The earlier team would have worked too, but I guess this is safer in the sense that yeah, we are fire and the Chong Pong is going to be going crazy here. And without the strips, we do have a cleanse coming from the Villagewell. At the same time, yeah, we don't really need this Saryan. But, of course, the defense break is very helpful. Any other monster with a defense break, maybe someone like um, the Fire Monkey. Or, yeah, anyone with defense break for that matter. But, nonetheless, it's a good combo because, yeah, I mean, no one to Oblivion though, honestly. But that's a nice defense from Crash Texter. Alright, let's see here. Gang Lai. Oh man. Bring in his own Fang Yen, Artamiel, and Emilia. I want Artamiel. Okay, now here's Lee with a Leo Molly, and that's a Diana. Alright, there goes King. Yeah, the thing with his defense is again Clara stuns. Galleon defense breaks and then Savannah can kill. Next we got a tower here with a Triana Harmonia. Let's see, we got Steve here. That's a Skogul, Emesity, and that's a Bulldozer. Yeah, nowadays you may need another Bulldozer on your sleeves. Here's Jinyao with the Water Twins, Talia, Sabrina, and a Harmonia. Okay, let's go attack this one here. We got Crash Texter. Let's see. Uh, we can replicate the water twins, but I'm thinking, how about, let's test this one, a Olivia Copper together with our second Awakened Lulu. I like this offense mainly because it's safer in the sense that this Skogul is gonna keep attacking onto Lulu and then at the same time you do have that Copper who can snipe that um, Triana, right? Plus heals coming from our Lulu should be Gucci and of course immunity and cleanse. Now uh, we'll wait for the anti-crit to go out before we do our... Okay, full attack bar, thunder strike. 68,000 and automatically it's a 3 versus 2 and yep we got Lulu tanking this bigger yeah we've been you know talking about it like in your opinion we also want to hear what you think right like which monsters do you need to create more of for example would you I think you may you may need like two bulldozers or two coppers eventually especially when you're fighting against you know in top tier siege battles where you basically you know face these defenses all over again and yeah i mean that's just the mechanic of the siege battles right you can keep putting the same defenses and at the same time you'll need a lot of counters and at the end of the day you know as these meta defenses evolve there's not a lot of ways you can beat it generally and there are i mean of course there are different teams that can work but there are not there's not like a hundred percent or there's only a good number of safe teams 
that you can use to beat them. So, I don't know, what do you think? Do you need another Elusha? Maybe another Lulu? Or maybe, I don't know, three, four, yeah, three, four versions of Copper or Bulldozer? Man, that's just crazy, right? But yeah, please leave a comment. We do want to know what you think. Because then, yeah, I believe we definitely need to build another you know, combo of Copper and Bulldozer. Because then, for example, if I use already this combo, then I'll need like maybe another Copper if I had another Emesity to, you know, fight this defense all over again, like later, especially in the, um, what do you call it? In, a, in the tournament where it's going to be a one versus one and you will definitely face the same defense at some point in time. Okay, let's go Thunderstrike for the kill. And there goes Komun. Man, that was a very tanky Komun. OP defense coming from Crash Dexter of La Farmilla. Okay, there goes the base. Let's see what else we got here. It seems like Wick Wick is also attacking the base. I don't know, it's kind of dangerous, but we got here Germster with a Molong Aerial and of course a Skogul. And we got here Steve with a Tessarian Perna and that's a Tetra. Well, we're gonna go attack this one. That's a Sierra together with the Masha and the Dark Beast Monk, which is in the form of Rahul. Well, I'm thinking we can actually bring in our own Sierra together with, I'm thinking, Gianna. Okay, and how about either Ganymede or Savannah? Yes, yeah, play around with Ganymede, just so we have the reset and ventilate. Let's see if it works. Do we get the first turn though? Alright, we get it. Let's put a bomb on this Rahul. And then let's go for the stuns on the Sierra and the Masha. Okay, critical error. Strip and stun, please, Gianna. Alright, we Gucci. Oh, of course, Valen procs out of it. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking we should reset Sierra or the Masha. Let's go ventilate. Yeah, we can put another bomb, right? We're going to bomb this Sierra here. Oh, but resisted. That's not good. We're going to put a bomb on the Sierra so that, yeah, when she gets her turn, she's going to put a bomb and then she's going to explode, right? Yeah, but the miss on the bomb, though, and the violent procs coming, and he's not even stunned. Wow, this, this guy. It's procking like crazy. Uh, stuns, please. No stun on. Okay, man, this dude. <laughs> Mas this Masha seems to be resistant to speed. Is he or is she? I mean, resistant, resistant to stuns. I meant stuns. But anyway. Oh no. I think they already took the base. Oh man. Kill Mabul we quick. Okay, hitting red nine. That's a Kumon Vigor and Chongpong from we quick. We're gonna bring in our what? No, let's go wind power. Okay, Eladriel, Luis, and our Diana. Man, that's such a lovely tower. Look at that. Yep, that's the legend background. And they are the legend guild for the last season of our Siege Battle Tournament. First one to kill here is mainly this Chongpong because he has that reduce, reduction of attack bars, right? 
and at the same time defense break and increase in cool times or cooldown turns on skills so goodbye we glances let's go for the stun no stun but at least we got the dots and the stun I mean the stun back coming from our Luis and then Diana come on wow so tanky okay there you go it's about time Diana the Diana train we haven't seen it in a while all right and without the Changpong yeah we got bigger but we do have Luis and Eladriel to support our Diana here and the more they hit onto yep just like that the more attack bars we get for our Diana it's very nice it's a very nice combo plus of course the HP lead from the Eladriel that gives us more HP right for all the win monsters one element one team oh yeah we did pull an aerial so then now we can play with a full water tank team yep i'm very excited for that uh, it's just that yeah please do stand by um, we have to feed him some more devil mons and at the same time we do have to evolve him later on and yeah we will need some time to work on that so thank you for your patience all right now there goes the kumun i mean the vigor <laughs> oh wait uh, is Komuro gonna go crazy on me? Uh, no, I don't think so. There's no way a Komuro can solo a full win team. <laughs> Although he does have the elemental advantage. Yeah, the procs are going crazy. I mean, I guess it's just, just like that. I mean, that's a summoner's war for you. Proc here and proc there. Sometimes it's for you, most often than not, it's against you. <laughs> That's the unfortunate reality, I guess. Or maybe we should retract our previous statement and say, No, you don't come to us. They always give the offense team the procs. It's really, really good. They're very, very balanced. Right here comes our Diana. Ah oh, well, <laughs> no chance to test that, but okay. Really nice defense from Kajua. All right, we got a few more attacks now. Let's go hit this La Familia Tower. It's a Bastet together with a Perna and an Odin. I'm thinking, yep, definitely bring in. A Rocky and then a Camilla to tank this Odin over here, which should be good. And then, yeah, unfortunately, we don't have the Luis, we already used Luis, but we will need immunity, right? I don't know. I'm thinking, yeah, we already used Lulu, but we'll need a wind tank, someone to tank this Perna. Yeah, we'll, we'll bring in our Wusa to tank. Yeah, hopefully we should be able to kill this Odin first, right? We kill Odin first, and then just let the Zing Ze tank that... Uh, what do you call it? That Perna. Should be good. Yeah, I don't know. It's the first time we're going to try this team. Oh, but Joe is on the attack. Let's see what he got. Well, he's bringing in a Chi Wu Gani, and that's a Rika. Alright, well, we still have Kai. Oh, but this time it's a Tessarian Bastet and an Odin. Oh man, the Guardian skins. I don't know. Let's see. Where is that? This time, yeah, still a Zingze Wusa, but the Tessarian though. And the Resistance lead. I don't know. I'm thinking if we should bring someone else like someone to reset but yeah let's test the team earlier although it is a different comp we got a thesarian there 
All right, let's see if it works. Yeah, the thing is, we don't have attack power buff, but we do have defense break coming from the Zingze. Oi! Wow, he steals all of that. How? How much accuracy does this Odin have? I don't know, but he has our three turn turns of immunity, which is very dangerous. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure if Wusa was the best idea to bring against in Odin because ideally, you know, if the if the Odin can we kill him? Oh, not enough. Oh man. Yeah. If he wasn't able to steal the immunity, we would have put a defense break on him like this. Oh, but of course, the resistance lead. <laughs> wow. Well, that's a really good feel. <laughs> yeah, that's an OP defense, man. That's, look at the Guardian skins on the Tessian and the Bastet. OP defense from Kai. All right. Well, here's Stylo with a Kali. That's a Second Awakened Alusha and a Ganymede. Oh man, though. No. Anyway, we're hitting red 12. Here's Lee with a Vigor. That's a Khaki together with a Triana. Yep, the Khaki defenses are here, ladies and gentlemen. Here's Joe with a Skogo, Second Awaken, Elusha, and a Vigor. Okay, and we got here Lee again with the Aegir, Second Awaken, Elusha, and Vigor. Let's go attack Colossal. Colossal, Colossal. Yeah, that's a bigger Kaki and Triana. I'm thinking we can bring in our own. Let's try that one. Skogul, but how about with Aegir and Elusha? Instead of like that Aegir, Elusha, bigger, right? And then HP lead from Aegir. Can this work? Well, let's see. Let's go have fun with this. Yep, OP Colossal. Uh, that's okay. A violent Kaki. A violent Triana. Well, Definitely, you need to kill this Kaki first. I'm um, thinking we should heal our Aegir, right? Yeah, because this figure is going to go for Aegir. Wow, wow, we wow. Okay, now we continue to work. Ooh, we have to sleep this Vigor. And then I'm thinking we should heal Vigor. Okay, nice Valent proc. Yep. Um, nice reduction of attack bars. Okay, that pops Endure or Salvation passive. Oi, oh no. Yeah, there goes the Skogul though. Unable to strip. Yeah, the thing with this defense is you really need to ka kill the Kaki first. Because Kaki is just very dangerous. Uh, we just popped Salvation passive. Oh, wakes up out of it. Confiscate onto Kaki. Okay, good job. Come on, can we kill? Oi, man, so close. Okay, two versus two now. Yeah, with all the teams that you know our guildies brought in, 
just make sure that you know you kill the khaki first because the every day you know you should be able to tank it out yeah working on the vigor now we leave triana last because this vigor does not have an hp lead um yeah we're not gonna wake up the vigor Okay, time to heal ourselves here while we CC this vigor. Freeze! Oh man. Okay, confiscate that. Oi, 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 oi. Let's go cleanse that and continue to work on the vigor. Oh man. Let's go. Sleep again. Yep. Okay, nice Valen proc. We just need to... Yeah, good thing he's continuously working on our Elusha. Because then, you know, Elusha is the tankier one. Okay, nice sleep. Let's brand him. And then confiscate attack bars. Alright, let's go heal our Elusha. Heal or freeze? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Nako. Uh, that's sleep this Triana. Right? So that we can. I'm thinking we'll need multiple hits to kill the bigger. Okay, nice sleep. Oi, but the violent procs. Ah, uh, confiscate. Cleanse. Okay, freeze. Brand? <laughs> uh, okay, I think we should sleep this Triana again. Nice one. Okay, I think this should be able to kill. No, well, confiscate. Oh man, but yeah, even though the Kaki was nerfed, man, still OP. Still really OP. Yeah, good thing we already have Kaki. We are still building him, um, but we have him ready for six starring. I'm um, just timing it a little bit for, you know, some of our, what I would call, uh, summon ritual, right? Every time we evolve, we have to summon. <laughs> yeah, and we do summon like maybe once every two weeks, I would say. Yeah, work, working now more for, you know, improving, still improving runes, of course. I mean, we, we didn't stop really. It's just that, yeah, just continue working on improving our runes. And yeah, based also on our previous um, battles, right? We have to um, improve some of our monsters, putting them on will. Uh, specifically, a good example would be, say, a Rakan, right? We already have him on immunity, by the way. So, should be safer against these OP guilds. And, Shongfei, we don't really use him. I don't know, we just played with him last time. <laughs> but, he is good. Yeah, um, I'm very excited with the new balance patch. Kumar is going to have the same cleanse effect. So, and yeah, with that additional heal, he should be good. Okay. We got here red six from Wick Wick. Aha! Uh -huh. That's a Sierra, Ken, and Second Awaken Vigor. That's very interesting. Uh, we I haven't seen a Ken defense in a while. I mean, not in siege battles anyway. Let's test it out. All right, we're gonna bring in our Fung together with the Rakan and someone to tank this Yara. I'm thinking, how about Camila? Should it have been Rina instead of Camila? I don't know. Oi, the branding. Yeah, he does get additional turns if he crits, right? Oh, but the bomb goes to the Fong and the Valent proc. Okay, that's not good. Yeah, that's not good. He did, uh, whatchamacallit, 
strip the immunity on the Rakan, but is, I think that's a dead Fong. Yeah, should we have brought in a Vigor instead? Oh no. <laughs> okay. That's a. Mm. Yeah, not much damage coming from. Okay, yeah, that's a violent Ken. Definitely a violent Ken. Yeah, because the additional turn didn't come from that Shoryuken anymore. Wow, I like this one. That's a defense from Colossal, and yeah, it's a Ken, ladies and gentlemen. I love it. We're losing to it. <laughs> but it's all good. We're going to go try and play with it again. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the Ciara, though. I think, yeah, definitely a violent Sierra with a high crit rate. Yeah, let's try it again. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Every time I see a Ken, I'm thinking, let's play around with our Ryu. Where is our water Ryu? Yeah, I have a Ken too, but not yet max killed. I mean... Yeah, I haven't really played around with a Ken, but Ryu, I've been using him a lot, especially in RTA. And speaking of RTA, yeah, we have to, we'll be doing better next season. I mean, we'll take more time to play it. It's just that every battle takes a, a while, so it does require a lot of time to really focus on it. And then when you get the violent procs going crazy, then it's kind of not that fun for me. <laughs> I get kind of frustrated. I mean, I mean, I might end up throwing the phone. I mean, it's just different for a real-time arena versus like, yeah. Anyway, someone to thank this Ken. Should we Miho or Helena? Let's go try for Helena for the defense breaks. Okay, Ken should do the the skill three, but he didn't. Uh, that's not good. Yeah, my plan was if he does that, then it gives the turn to our Ryu, and then Ryu would reduce attack bars and then strip, of course, our Helena here to do the swaying flame defense breaks and reduce attack bars, and then ideally. That Pisama would have gotten the next turn and then went for. Oh man, but the defense break. The Shoryuken. Yeah, a violent can for sure. <laughs> oh man. Nice stuns, nice stuns. But a Ryu against a Ciara is not exactly the best thing. Mainly because Sierra multi hits and yeah, bombs away. <laughs> oh man, we got wrecked by Ken. What that really? Yeah, nice defense from Colossal. That's a fun one. Um, is that? Yep, I think. Yeah, we're rushing. We went um, one on one against La Familia and Quick Quick is just basically cleaning off everything else and. I believe they're gonna win this. Okay, well, let's go do a quick review of our opponent here, the Ken. Man, look at this guy. Look at Ken. He is still taunting us. <laughs> well, sorry, man. No more monster attacks. That's the last of our monster attacks. But we'll get you next time. Here's the. Excuse me. Uh, the Shoryuken. Right, where he shoryukens, leaves a branding, and then at the same time gets an additional turn if he crits, plus the Tetsun Sampeyaku, and they had Duken. Alright, we'll go see the results of this siege. Alright, that's a GG well played to Wick Wick and La Familia. Shout out to, of course, our friends in Wick Wick and our friends in La Familia. Now, time to 
pick our SSS trophy box. No more shinies, but can we get a good one? Right in between Coco and Joe. Alright, not too bad. We got uh, legendary summoning pieces, mystical scroll, and a fire scroll. That fire scroll has either a Masha or a Rika in it. That's right. And, yep, that's it for today. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content. Thank you for watching and have a great week ahead. May the force be with you. We'll, we'll see, see you, you on, on the, the next, next one. one.